deter nowhere in this legislation is there any reference to the unborn or reproductive issues. Making this debate about something other than protecting women is unfair and uncaring. This is where their fake feminism is exposed. Just last week it was reported that Paul Bernardo was transferred to a medium security prison. Conservatives brought a unanimous consent motion calling for an immediate return of this brutal serial rapist and killer to a maximum security prison. We were shouted down by the Liberal the member from Kingston and the Islands. They made their intentions clear then. They've decided to defend one of the most disgusting men in Canadian history rather than his female victims and their families. This is misogyny. Mr. Speaker. And when the Liberals vote against C-311, they will be voting against women and against choice. They will be once again protecting violent men, not vulnerable women. Conservatives are on the side of women and of victims. Thank you. I believe we have a point of order from the Honourable Parliamentary Secretary to the Government House Leader. Um, Mr. Speaker, the member attributed something that I apparently did uh, uh, yesterday, I think she said. Uh, I certainly did not do that. Uh, the member might want to reflect on that and the next time before she goes and makes accusations she might want to know what she's talking about. Uh, th that is descending into a fair amount of the debate uh, this evening but maybe uh, on that same point of order the Honourable Ma Member for uh, Sur South Surrey White Rock. Speaker I was in the House when the unanimous consent motion was called. That member said no. I rarely make a mistake about what that yes. member does. <laughs> The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary of the Government House Leader. Mr. Speaker, it was not me that said no. Perhaps this member, this member should apologize, Mr. Speaker, because she is lying right now. Is a what? <laughs> All right. The Honourable uh, Member for South Surrey White Rock. Speaker, the member, <laughs> member just called me a liar in this house yep. that is and then walked out always oh, back that is uh not only unparliamentary language we can all check hansard and see what happened but he I, the, he the floor. Mr. Speaker, I have the floor, and that this member is shouting over me when I have the floor is also unparliamentary. This is a disgrace. Okay, uh, the Honourable Member for Kingston and the Islands. Speaker, I apologize for calling for saying that the member was lying. What the member is saying is not true. She should check Hansard before she makes that accusation in this house because what she is saying is simply and categorically false. I would have challenged him for the member from Kingston and the Islands to check me earlier. Okay, well, well, the, the Honourable Whip for the, whip the Opposition. Just turned to me, made a face, and gave the finger to me. I don't even know how you categorize that in the House of Commons. To all of us, and specifically to me, that member should be sanctioned in the strongest possible term. He should be thrown out of this House, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to take a break for a second here and I'm going to consult. Now we're Okay, uh, what we're going to do, because I was just consulting with the table officer, so I, I did not see uh, what uh, is being said has been happened. And what, what, I, what I'm going to do is review the videotapes, because cameras are on uh, all the time, so we will review those cameras. Uh, I'm sure we will go and back and look at it. Um, I, will remind, I will remind people that we are in the House of Commons. And we should respect each other at all times, even though we disagree vehemently sometimes on issues that are before us. And to uh, 
to accuse and to maybe provide, you know, flip the bird or give the finger is probably something that should not be seen in this house at any time. I believe. Did you do the tires, though? To uh, the honorable member of Vancouver Kingsway, and then oh. I'll go back to the honorable. Want to say that I was you know, coming into the the chamber uh, right at yeah. that moment, and I can tell you, I did see the member uh, from Kingston um, um, make a, an objectionable sign to the opposition of this finger. Okay, uh, the honorable member for uh, Prince George Peace River, Northern Rockies. Yes, uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I clearly saw uh, the member from Kingston the Islands gave the finger, which is uh, a symbol for a very specific phrase. Uh, again, I would uh, agree with my colleague that uh, an apology is in order. Thank you. Okay. All right. Um, since uh, since I, I can't ask someone to do something that might not be here, so I, I will go back and review it. Uh, I, I, all right. How about how about this? How about this? I'm going to pour the water out of the man. To the item that we're supposed to be dealing with. We're going to go back and look at that video. We'll take in consideration the things. The that four that are not in bags. There's a pile in bags. There's a pile not in bags. You're the ones not so, in as bags. Soon as, as soon as possible. So. Well, there's one off to the side that's the spare for the truck. It's got a rim on it. Don't. South. Only the four with no rims and no bags. In the Jeep. The Jeep's out back. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Today, I request uh -huh. to speak to Bill C-311, introduced by the Conservative member for Yorkton, Melville. I'm proud to stand with my NDP and ROC colleagues and with Canadian women across our great country in opposition. Before we really get started, I'm, I apologize. I apologize. I know the Honourable Member for Kingston Islands uh, uh, wants to stand on something. Mr. Speaker, I do apologize for the frustration that I exhibited in the last few moments, but I want to reiterate that it was not me. Thank you. Hi, hi. Uh, it's not, I'm going to go back and look and see exactly what happens. I, 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 either, either, I, listen, either we admit to doing something in the chamber and we, we, we unreservedly re apologize. The, the Honourable Member Kings of the Islands. I, I admit that well, what uh, the members are indicating that I did, I did do, and I unreservedly apologize for displaying my frustration that way. The Honourable Member for Brampton South. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Today,